Hey all, I'm out here with my Techno MT410. I've shown this off a few times on the channel. Uh, this has all the latest upgrades I've made to it. It has my Proline Silverado body. It also has shockwave tires from Proline. I found that the uh, Duratrax tires I'd been using before, while they looked kind of cool because they were really big, uh, ballooned quite a bit and were just really heavy, so they caused a lot of handling problems. In particular, they caused the truck to wheelie constantly. Now, my personal opinion is these shock waves are probably a little bit narrow for this truck and the tread is just uh, isn't quite deep enough for, for the kind of driving I like to do. But the good news is these tires are really, really light. They weigh about 290 grams each. So um, they're about the lightest tires you'll find for a truck like this that can still be kind of considered off-road tires. So for now, it's, it's, uh, it's a pretty good compromise. Um, and what I'm going to show you is something I've, I've never shown on the channel, which is this truck running on 4S. I've got a 4S LiPo in here from Gen's Ace. And uh, it's actually a, a lithium high voltage, so it actually charges up to 15.2 volts. Uh, it's a pretty high-powered pack. And I've got the Castle uh, Mamba Monster X and a uh, the 15, 15, 2200 kV motor in it, which, as far as I know, is still nearly impossible to buy. They kind of sold out earlier in, in 2018, and now it's uh, January 2019. I don't know if they're available, but I, I think if they are, the prices have gone up. Uh, but yeah, I have a 15 tooth pinion in here, which is the smallest pinion you can use. And that's because the 2400 kV motor is pretty hot uh, to be running uh, on a 4S pack. So let's get this going. I'm going to show you what this looks like in a pretty hilly environment. So I, you may not see it flat out in a straight line. Uh, maybe I'll try to find one place to give it a, a drag run. But uh, yeah, you're going to see this thing's pretty fast. And luckily with these shockwave tires, uh, it stays planted pretty well. So let's have a look. Now I mentioned that these tires don't have a ton of traction and that is a little bit problem in the slightly wet grass. Uh oh, I've got an uninvited guest. A dog. That's kind of funny. This dog here kind of kept pace with my truck. You never know what you'll find out in the park. In the background there you'll see the skate park where I've actually driven this truck before but not in the mood to destroy this body. So I'm not gonna run it over there. Plus there are a lot of kids at the skate park. Some of whom are watching the truck and not skating. Uh oh. The dog's out of my car again. <laughs> well, luckily with a 4S pack, uh, I know that no dog can keep up with this truck. But I don't want to give the dog a heart attack, so I won't go too fast here. <laughs> Well, that was funny. The dog owner was actually worried that the dog had bitten the truck, but luckily, no worries. The Techno MT410 is a pretty tough truck. Yeah, but a, a nice dog chase makes for good video, I'd say, hopefully. So, my opinion on this truck on 4S is that it's, it's pretty darn fast. 
but uh, you know it gets a little uncontrollable. It's a little bit, and these tires, although they barely balloon on 3S. Oh, dog's back. Is uh, these tires are not quite as grippy as I'd like. <laughs> it's a fast little dog. Um, that dog's gonna rest well tonight. Uh, yeah, these tires are not as grippy as I'd like on this terrain. You know, they're pretty good on the street and maybe light, kind of light dirt, but on this grass, they slip a lot. And, um, whoa, here, uh, this is kind of fun. <laughs> uh, I think the dog's getting tired. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm still, I'm still looking for the ideal tires. Uh, you know, the only thing is, the faster you go, the more you really don't, I mean, the more power you put in a truck, the more it, it's a problem when you have really heavy tires because they put a lot of strain on the system. And uh, I'm still thinking about which tires, I'm actually interested in the Proline Mashers. I, gotta be careful here, I don't actually wanna hit the dog because the car weighs probably more than the dog does. Um, anyway, uh, There we go. Dog's just slightly tired. Techno MT410, not tired at all. Yeah, so I'm still, I'm thinking about the Proline Mashers. They have a little bit more grip and they're heavier than these tires, but um, maybe it would be a good compromise. I know some people use the uh, D-Boots backflips uh, for stunts mostly. I don't really do a lot of stunts with this truck or jumping. I'm more interested in, uh, I guess you could say combination of speed and, and off-road handling and kind of looks too and I just don't love the look of the backflips the mashers really appeal to me because they've got that uh, kind of scale look but um, yeah those will be the next ones I try anyway about it. Hope you've enjoyed seeing this truck run on 4S. It's quite a handful, especially when I'm holding a camera in one hand. Anyway, catch you next time.